This is a tutorial for Photoshop. It's Photoshop Gradients and it's Photoshop CS4. It's on a PC but it could be a Mac. Also works for CS3, CS2 and earlier versions as well as Elements. So I've got a selection of gradient files. These are graphic extras gradient files but there are many gradient files on the web. Uh, once you've got a selection of gradients you can copy them over to the program files, Adobe Adobe Photoshop CS4 presets gradients. So you basically see the structure here, presets and then gradients, and you can install them in this folder here. Uh, if you need admin, you need admin privileges probably to enter the details if you're on a standard account. But if you're on an admin account, you can just copy them straight away. Right now, I'm just going to go to Photoshop, and I've opened the document already, and you select the gradient. So the gradient tool is selected and you go over to the palette and you can then do basically load gradients, replace gradients. Now if you want to load some more gradients into this, you can actually select, there's a selection of gradients, I'm loading gradients, so this is basically loading the gradients via this right side of the gradient palette. So you've entered. You actually the ones you've put into the presets folder. You actually will see there as well in in the in the drop down list. So you can just quickly select them. That will replace them. So it's not actually a load. Right. So we've got a selection here. There are a number of different types of gradients in Photoshop. So there's um, linear. There's a radial. So you can just just kind of get some radial. An angle gradient. Reflected and last one and not least is the diamond gradient. Right, and that can be used for squares and uh, diamonds. So it should be a square gradient as well. Right, so that's a selection of gradients here. I'm going to select another gradient again, it's the graphic actions. So you can just apply the gradient just by dragging, clicking on the dragging. So that's, this one's a Purple gradient, so that's a green gradient you can select. So the create diamond effect there, you can just apply different gradients here. I'm going to say new. Now, you can also can select that. Also, apply them using different blending modes, which are quite useful for some interesting effects. I'm just going to go to the linear, so you can just go across and difference, apply again across and you can create some truly abstract colour effects here which you can then of course use first like you can define a brush preset for that or you can use as a background or as an overlay um, gradients can also I'm just going to quickly fill that another way of entering gradients is via the new fill layer there's gradient so you can select that uh, gradient, gradient fill and then it will and you can actually drag the gradient so you can click on the actual document on the layer and drag it so you can make it sort of darker so you can depend on the gradient and what's beneath but you can change the radial to the star so you can see the you can actually scale it you can also just combine them so I'm just going to scale so that's one way to do it so you can actually then create new fill pattern doesn't help you feel great and you can select that and you can then enter another one which is so just select that one right so you've basically got that you can also change the gradient here you can double click on the layer click on the that little the icon of the, the gradient there and change that to the radio if you wish you can also change the gradient this point if you decide you don't like that so you basically again you can move the layer around yeah, you can click on that ok you can actually set then the layers you can actually go here and just change that set of difference or darken or whatever so you can just bring up the uh, double click on it so you can actually once you've got that you can actually move it across so you can just change the actual apply of course you can repeat this many times and it's depending on the performance of the machine just keep repeating, change different styles and all those sort of things. You can also, if you want to change the gradient quickly, you can actually click on the gradient here, 
on the actual gradient and you can change the stops here so there's a selection of grade stops you've got the green and the red so you can actually say change that you see the change is reflected in here and here you can add another stop if you wish so you add another obviously here it's transparent so you can't you can't see it but if you drag the transparency across you actually see the effect change there so there's less region there so you can I can change that from obviously red I can change it to say yellow so then you create a interesting effect. Okay click on that that's one way of adding the gradient you can now I'm just going to flatten that there's other ways of doing it so uh, but uh, layer effects is another way of uh, thing you'd have to, you have to create some new layer and then create a layer effect but that maybe for another tutorial but so let's quickly show you new that uh, was pretty new layer and just fill you want to fill that layer otherwise it won't and then you can apply the layer style so um, um, gradient overlay so that's, that's that one and then you can enter again select one of the gradients here last number of gradients you can just change the linear and again the radial you can move in the gradient you can change the blending mode here as well so you can just Especially for the last star, so what I actually want to do is change it up. Click on that. Then we change it. You want to change it at that point. But the difference. That's the area we want to change. It. Actually, that's only really combination with the other star. So let's remember that. Right. You can change this. Star, okay. Right. Okay. Click OK. And then that's it. And there's gradient maps and other things. Anyway, hope you found this uh, quick tutorial about um, gradients, one-shot gradients of interest, and uh, come back for uh, future tutorials. Thank you much.